He's very talented. Can we just leave it at that? I don't want to hear what he's going to say. Okay, that's fine. You oh, know so what, I'm what saying? are you talking about? You're talking about like R. Kelly's, Michael Jackson's, Bill Cosby's. Yes. Yeah, so essentially, we found out about them. Right. 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 I'd be like, wondering, are we gonna are find, where are we going to find out about Diddy? Oh, man, I think we already I think, did. I think, I, think, I, think, yeah. I think we already found out about him. Yeah. So yeah, it's, what it's, the dude, the fat Jew dude, what he was saying. Yeah, that's still alleged, though. Oh, Diddy know. ain't never come out Wait, and his name is denied. Fat Jew. Have you noticed that? Diddy ain't never come out. That's the thing about Diddy me came, in, though. This, in this. He can't sit up here and be like, everybody lying. You know, he got to ignore everything. Yeah, you know you got to. Because the I minute mean, he tries to address something, yeah. it's gonna be like. And even if it's, why even he, if, it, why even he if it's not true, say something. even, even if, if it's, it's not true, true, you know what I'm saying? You kind of like gotta fall back and just. Well, some people deny go and deny stuff all the time, like the Andrew Wiggins joint. Because Bam was talking about him and his baby mama with the whole situation. Yeah, they said that wasn't true though, right? The man, his grandfather was sick. Came to come up, find out his grandfather was sick. Oh, so it ain't had to do with the baby mother. Nah, the old man was just looking dumb. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Basically, he, he missed a whole bunch of time. He wasn't hurt. Yeah. But everybody thought it was because... His baby mom slept with his best friend. Because somebody on the internet put that out there. Yeah. And like, course, he missed like 40 plus games. I think it was like 20 something. And basketball players don't miss yeah. time. Oh. It was like two if, months if though. It hurt. was a long ass time. It okay. was a long time to not yeah. be hurt. Right, okay. right, right. right. So. And it was just family issues or family something. Okay. And so it would be a secretive you know, about the joint though. Yeah. Like, because typically if it's like, oh, you're dealing with a sick parent or a sick <clears> grandparent. That's the one thing about sports and sports media. They will tell you, any journalist who covers sports, when somebody says family, Issues, they leave that joint alone. But here's the thing, though. They don't. They probably don't they, want to overstep they said, and get a lawsuit. Um, they said something. nobody knew. Like, nobody knew up until when they came out and was like, oh, no, nah, what, what, what the world is saying is untrue. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, so what was it? It was unspecified reasons. The, the team never announced why. They were just like, well, nobody, just, still nobody knows. It's well, his grandfather. His grandfather. Well, that's what, his, had, his grandfather was sick. That's what they came out and said. And they was is saying, he still sick? I, I guess. But I mean, playoffs started, and he was like, "I guess my team need me, so I, you know, I, so I suck it up." But what happened was when somebody came out and was like, "Oh, that's why your baby mama slept with your best friend five years ago, and your five year old is really his kid, and you just find it out." Type situation. That mm-hmm. was the rumor. That right? was what that I saw first. Rumor. But Aww. the baby mama came out and was like, "Oh, this is not true." Oh, that's nobody what I'm believed so going back to what he was saying. Yeah, but that's like a, a scandal type of. Judy. You kind of like gotta like get in front of that if it's not true. Well, that's what exactly would be happening in the day. A rumor about being gay, that's it's big a difference. It's a rumor about the same, it's, it's a nah. rumor. Uh, I see what you're saying. Huh? Oh, I'm totally confused. Tell me what the difference is. Besides the names. Andrew Wiggins' livelihood isn't not heavily based on his perception in the public eye. So really he, you know what I mean? That's one way. But we, Diddy's one way is, nothing. so it's better that he don't say nothing. Because oh, then okay. there's nothing. Okay. And it's so much with Diddy. Like, if it was just like, oh, like, oh, Diddy. That's probably also why he don't say you nothing. Fuck, you fucked the child. He'll probably be like, man, no, I didn't. I never fucked no child. <laughs> that is not, that's beyond me. I would never do nothing like that. But Diddy, you fuck some niggas. Right. He's he, like, he gonna be like. Take that, take that. <laughs> <laughs> I got five kids though, so you know what I'm saying. This, yeah. this, this. I got five. If kids. If you're gonna talk about stuff, right. talk about everything. You know right. what I'm mean? saying? Right. I don't know. I don't know why I brought that up. I will just be thinking about stuff. Oh man, I thought you just brought the roll. That nigga just got a daughter though. He got a little fresh yeah, little daughter. Yeah, I heard. With, with the fresh little is, daughter. That's not with Young Miami though. It's not with Young Miami. No. Did his child. Oh no, it's with some other random. And so are they still together now or they broke up because of that? Apparently he gave her a bunch of gifts or some shit like that to make Pay her to stick up. around. Yeah. I'm not sure. Young Miami, huh? That's what Oh, we did y'all hear about it's it's been ongoing, but it kinda got quiet. Mm-hmm. Marcus Houston and his yeah, wife. That's a wild story right no. there. That's like a T D Jakes X type story. Cause she he's thirty nine. Nah, he older than us. He's in his 40s. He gotta be. Does he, he like 44 or 45 yes, or something he gotta like that. be. Fair enough. He gotta be like 80. She's only 19. 
Right now. Right now. And apparently, they allegedly they've been dating. Married. He been he been he they've been, been married for like two years. Yeah, he been like waiting for her to become legal to marry her. And he did. I thought it was only two years they've been married. Because he got married Houston? when she was seventeen. They got married. <coughs> Mm. Yeah, Batman. So what she just she, had a baby. What do she look like? You know, she like a, woman. a Kardashian. She tough? No, she look like a Kardashian. All of them. No, she look like no, uh, she look like a she look like a sister, like a light skin. Are you doing that? Yeah, like, yeah. She like a California sister. sister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. They all. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, well, she look, okay. Yeah, I like all of them. Get a get a regular everyday picture. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let now. me see. I see what you're saying there. She's not quite over it, like. Is she black or not? She like forty eight percent. What's the Kardashians there? They no percent black. Percentage yeah. wise. They no percent black. He's kind of weird as an mm. old man. He looked like himself. He Seven looked like a young version. <laughs> he looked, of okay. He looked. He so, looked pretty young for his age. Yeah, he still looked young. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure some hair died. Man, y'all sure he? Uh, oh, maybe they married at thirty nine. Maybe he. So he's forty one. Met Dicky. She's twenty two when she was seventeen. They got engaged in twenty nineteen after five months of dating and married in August. Oh, she's twenty two now. So they've been married for three years though. How? Man, if they got, how if they what, got married what, at seventeen? What the, oh, that was a line of the story though. He met her when she was what? Y'all giving me the crust. Met Dicky twenty two when she was the, seventeen. That, they got that part engaged. of the meat and the potato right there? The age gap for one. Twenty years? That's twenty years. Nah, right? it was something like some it was something but to do with also, grooming. Something to do yes. with some type of grooming type of Because they married. So we not started dating. They married when she was seventeen. <coughs> Can you do that? I guess wherever they were, yeah. Well, I think the legal age of consent is uh, 16. sixteen or something like that, right? Depending yeah. on what state you're Depending in. Depending on the state. But I thought that was only with like uh, someone relatively close to your age. In terms of consent, like so, like like wow. a twenty year old can't be prosecuted for statutory with a seventeen year old. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I understand, but I I don't think that's is that is that wrong. actually true though, or am I making that up? You can anybody can be yeah. prosecuted. Yeah. No, I think like if you forty two or yeah. forty one, that's what I'm saying. Like you can still legally in certain states. Well, see, seventeen That's what I heard. They have been they've been together though for ten years. And that's, she, that was the that, that was, was the, the initial thing. That was the rumor. And she's twenty two now. <laughs> but that, that quieted down until recently. It resurfaced again because, because she started, just had a baby. And he's starting to do interviews. Oh, yeah. Wow. He just he did it. I don't know. Like oh, okay. Like trying to get Hold involved. She's twenty two in now. This could all be a ploy for them to get a show or something. Might be. Or for him to get a role on a show. I know he tried to explain it, and I was like, I ain't don't no get explaining it. Nigga said, see, what had happened was, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't get it. He but y'all ain't see what Tiffany it. did when she was like, oh, all of them. She looked like the rest of them, like Kardashian. She a nice little young lady. I see what she was saying, oh, though. No, nah, she like, you know, the little, uh... But she did clear it up with the percentages. She was like, this girl looked like 48%. Right. Kardashians are like seven to ten in her mind. I was um, seven. To, what you mean by the percentage of, ne- of how much black melanin? Uh, how much melanin? Uh, what, how much the Kardashians? How much? The I feel like they got zero. She said seven to ten. I was seven thinking the Mediterranean, ten. so something. No, they Iranian, ain't they? Right, no, I so, thought they were Mediterranean. I thought it was Iranian. Where they from? Not Iranian. Not, I, Iranian. What's that big Iraqi, uh, bro? population out there in California? Uh, Turkish? Nah. They got like a whole area that, yeah, that's but, theirs. Yeah, I figure out what the fuck they are. What was your dad? Rob. We have to Rob figure this out. Some Vakian or do. something. Anyway, my point is, speaking about out there in California and black women dating black men. Okay. Uh, Armenian. Ar- Ar- Armenian. Yeah, he's right. That's what it sorry. is. I'm no, sorry. Yeah, no, he's right. Armenian. Yeah. Anyway, I ran across something on the internet, and it was uh, this young lady who was basically explaining how she is from California. And in being in California, <coughs> like, black men don't be checking for black women. <coughs> Let's play the clip. In, in Cali. Yeah, play the clip. Was this too short? No. No, no, no. no. 
No, no. Okay. But it's some. I don't even know who she is. She might actually be know, somebody. Chef. But yeah, so she yeah. said, as soon as yeah, she moved this. to. Uh, there you go. Y'all ready? Yeah. Play the play the play. Y'all no, that ain't me up for this. But in California. A lot of the black men don't like black women. They want mixed women or racially ambiguous women or mm-hmm. Latino women. So when I went to Louisiana, it was like, shit, you think I'm attractive? Everyone loves black women. And that was very, like, that was a culture shock to me. I think that really helped my confidence. Back at home, I went, I lived in a predominantly Hispanic area. All my friends were dating. All my best friends were also Hispanic. I was not dating. I wasn't attracted to them because I wasn't Hispanic. I wasn't the standard of beauty right. so when i moved to louisiana and standard of beauty is more Shout women who look like me like dark skin black really? black soft. features yeah it's, y'all gonna beat me up for this which is crazy but in because california a lot of the which is black- crazy because you know it's a lot of it's a lot of uh <laughs> racial differences in louisiana is it it's a lot of light-skinned people a lot oh, cause of, like a creole a lot of creole, a creole. people mm. And Louisiana, and it's also a lot of dark people. But what was she was just saying? What, what was she? Her point to this? And they're not so checking point, for black women in California, and, and, or and, or well, what she's saying in certain parts of she she just singled out California, but in certain parts of the world is my point, where black women aren't seen as whatever. So I guess my question is, and I know you've lived multiple places. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about like how in, in terms of truth to that statement? Mm-hmm. Like, is that something that you you've experienced? Could verify, mm-hmm. experience, no. know of, know about. So I know. Growing up, it wasn't. It was more of a if someone was interested in you, it was more of a fetish. It's Kansas oh. Midwest area. Uh, it was more of a fetish thing, not necessarily like, like, like a, a box they check. into you. Right. right. But you did have somebody other other than your race, like outside of Caucasian. Mm-hmm. Okay, so not black. And, not black. Yeah, not black. Okay. Ooh, bro. Um yeah. but um the there the, I don't Dude. Where where I grew up was a college town, so that means people were coming from different PWI. areas. A lot of them from the south. PWI college town. Yes, so a lot of them from the south, Texas, stuff like that. Oklahoma. And what happens is you tend to, you know, like garner to your own. Oh, mm-hmm. stick to your own. Yeah, you mm-hmm. do. Gravitate so towards you, your own. You do. There's some ones who, are, you know, who. You know, when after venture off, mm-hmm. there are a few. Oh, like my man. Yeah, there are a few guys <laughs> who are just you know they love them some white women. You know, it is what it is, mm-hmm. and there's to that way to this day. Were there any white men, like white guys, that just oh he just love black women or just love Spanish women mm-hmm. or just Travis love Kelsey's? Yeah, they were. Mm. They were. He ain't from that area. But I will say here, really? it was a little bit more of an appreciation of black yeah. women, like loving mm-hmm. on them mm-hmm. when I got back here do you think that's because of the concentration of black women here versus there probably so and yeah. i think that's might be what's happening out it in certain too, pockets of is, california i think with california though you got so much artificialness going on too hollywood right there, you know what like i'm saying said. and um you know yams can be things. yams can be purchased out right, there right, you know what i'm right, saying right because yams but it's not the same it can't be the same yeah, look it's the, the same. same. They look the same too. Really? That's what I'm saying. It don't feel as. Well, I don't know. <coughs> you may have I think seen eventually it start feeling similar. You know what I'm saying? After it start feeling after some years. Uh, well, you know, there's a saying. You it know, feels you know, the same. there's a saying. You know, what's the saying? Uh, it's kids in the room. I don't want to be. My kids are very smart. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know there's a saying, you know, it's all the it's all the same. Oh. Long story short. Like long story short. Like it's all it's, a certain color. It's, it's, all, you know, it's, it's all, all the same. So essentially. Inside. But yeah, that ain't what y'all inside. talk about the yams. No, the the yam about. ain't inside. Yeah, that's no, awesome. but essentially Well like like Nicki Minaj said, she said <laughs> my my joint finally get to the soft yams. now. You she said, said what now? And one of her songs she said her ass finally soft. Oh yeah, she, she finally, it's like, finally, yeah, yeah. After a while, is this yeah. a new song so, after her baby. This is a while ago. This is when she was like 
popping. Is he trying to be funny yeah. though? No, she. That's what she was saying. Mm. Because I, I it, 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 it is hard. It, it is. It, it is a little harder. It, it, it loosens. Yeah. It, 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 after it's a settled, long time, it, it, it's like okay. I'm, yeah, and fat's still developing in your in your person and has, around, right. around it, and that is the like, biggest mm, muscle in the body. Yeah. So it's gonna always, you know, what I'm saying. Be so so the one up that sisters have out in California. Mm-hmm. It's really not a one up anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because they can buy it. So yeah, I think like she said though, the standard is different out there. The standard of beauty, mm-hmm. it's a more superficial but place. It, yeah, that and, it's and the, that, that and it's the pocket too though. It's the it, wherever you are, like because I'm sure in Compton, the the, the Bloods and the Crips and all them type dudes. I don't know, yeah. I think because it's such a plethora of non-black women out there, the concentration is different. Yeah. Yeah, so but there's a whole people bunch be of checking black, for that. There's out a whole there. bunch of black kids being born. No doubt about it. So in California, so it's sisters is getting cho- chosen oh, up on. But yeah, but not by black men though. But they're you talking about See, mixed every, babies? Then. Yeah, well, that's what I'm about, saying. You talking about mixed babies? I'm talking about in 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 the ghetto. He just saying he just saying where the concentration of black people are. They still having babies around there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's a small population. Now they might not be able to get that's sisters. Might not be able to get the upper echelon of type type dudes. You know what I'm saying? That they they think they want or they think they deserve. I'm wondering if that's what she was thinking. I think too. that's what she's well, talking she about. She might not want somebody in the hood. You can't fault her for that. Nah, she said that she was not dating. Yeah. Like dating wasn't an option for her at one because, level, whatever level of, of adult. That's not she, the, that's that's what because she said. of what. It's not the first time I heard this about California. <coughs> I will say that. Yeah, like, but that's like, because the guys that she wanted to date was also man. They're black. Yeah, she but I'm just saying. She wants to date black men. But I'm talking about the type of black men she wanted to date was also man. I think more I'm men go sister. for non-black women in a place where there are more non-black women. Okay, so if you guys had your option or your, you would prefer more of the non-black or black? Right. Like some people are, some some men are very vocal enough to say like, you know what, I, I you know, I had a hankering for, right. you know, something different. I had been around black women all my life and I'm, I've had enough. So if you were around other things, you I think, think if you, you could have swayed that way? I think if you expose to other things, it might um, alter your opinion on what you've been accustomed to growing up with. Definitely going to be looking at something different. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and say for sure I would have, you know, jumped out the window or whatever the case may be. But, <clears throat> like, just like, just like an athlete, he's been around... Black people all his life, all the way up through high school, maybe. Because mm-hmm. sometimes when they they go to these PWI high schools as well. Yeah. So, but let's just say hypothetically, he goes to a black high school, all the type of stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. He around black people. Once he goes to that college or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. he's gonna be exposed to a whole different, different atmosphere, a yeah, whole how different world. How do you process world. that stuff? And it's gonna be the one. It's one of probably the best world he's ever been in. Yeah. Because he's there to play basketball and make the school money right. off of that. So or they're going to treat him a certain case. way. Yeah. You and, know what I mean? And also, in, once a man starts moving So up, it's all unrealistically amazing. Yeah. Sorry, not to cut you off, but as men start moving up in the world where they start going to certain colleges and, and being invited to certain programs, certain parties, the number of black women start to get lower. Yep. So there's only certain <coughs> types of black women or... Like, like I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, the population of black women diminish. But there's nothing in your head that says, I still want me a black girl. It depends on what you what want, you want it do. for. You want to go back home to Louisiana? Right. No, or I mean, there, going... there, it, it can't be. It can't not be. There are none. Uh, here's what I'm saying. Most of the time, it's not. Just none. because it's three don't mean that, well, I guess I only got to choose one of from those these three. three. Right. I don't want none of them. Why? Especially if... Because even if I was in Louisiana, <laughs> I wouldn't have been looking at them. So why I'm looking at them here? You see yeah, what I'm saying? Like, if, if, so then you had a hankering like, for that other thing beginning. Like, you didn't like what nah, you had. No, it's not necessarily that. It's just about availability let and just, options. Let me just say this. There are certain things where, as a man that are deal with. <coughs> and I don't think for most men, for most black men, race is a deal breaker. I'm just gonna put it like that. I I, I feel like if men, Should it be? if black I mean, men had their preference, 
I f- I'm just going to speak up for most black men. I feel but like most know. black men would choose, if they had a perfect preference, it would be some sort of form of a black woman. I agree. But just like y'all have to do when y'all have to settle, or not necessarily settle, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, I like tall guys. Well, I ended up with a short dude. Oh, I like... It's not the same thing, but okay. I, I like chocolate guys, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with a light skin He got baby. a little bit of milk in You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain things that you have to kind of like, okay, well, fine. I'll deal with this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, or, or you get into a situation <laughs> where one of them joints... Sweep you off your feet, man. You know Especially what I'm saying? if you run. Hold on, Tim. This is what, the other thing. What about it sweeps you off your feet? I you, just, I'm going to tell you. Okay. When you run into one that got black woman features. That are purchased? Man, nah. Real talk. Listen. That are purchased? Be, if, you I'm can look at sure some. if that matters or not. You can look at. But there are some that ain't. They, it's not purchased. They have black people features. Like what? Which essentially. But that's for you, though. Still, I've seen dudes that. Talking about the features that matter to guys. Yeah. I seen dudes that you know, settle purchase. down with joints that don't no, have black women features. It ain't even gotta be like that. That's yeah, all that's, I see. That's the other you part of it. I see. you say I've seen dudes settle down with joints that don't have black women. Non black women that don't have black And that's the majority features. of what I see. I never see that. That's what but I was I saying. I think that's where the uh the tra- the traditional female stuff comes into play. Like modern women now, they don't be like especially uh-oh. Like black women, like the stereotype <laughs> is they're not so submissive, whatever the case may be. That, I That's what the stereotype American, is. American, I, I American black women. I'm lost, y'all. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I know where he's going. Red, Red, help me understand what they got to do with what we're talking going. about. So some dudes, they... Oh, because they like, shoot, this girl over here, I ain't got to hear all this. I ain't got to deal with all this gotcha. extra stuff. All right. What's the she exercise? ain't a boss. She ain't all this, you know, she not independent. The, the, she the not. female trying to <coughs> son the male. Pretty much. A lot of what? guys, they don't know how to handle, they don't know how to be a certain way to where they won't get sunned. I don't think they want to be that way. Some guys don't. Yeah, it's yeah, not they, a matter of like, no. And that's to I, I think that's I why think you most s- men don't. Want I, I, I think that's why you's like, man, I ain't got time for all that. And I think that's why you see some dudes with joints where you be like, man, why he over seriously? there? Seriously? Yeah, off see, the look side of the see, game. You gotta you know understand, what I'm Tiffany. You have to. You have to understand. And that don't matter same, to it's me. It's the same thing with women cause... because when we look at certain things in relationship, it's so easy for us to judge. But there's a couple of things that women look for. It's it's protection. And provision. He about to tell a woman. Right? But <laughs> let me tell you what men value. There you go. Bring that Pussy home. and peace. Pussy and peace. Peace to a man who's, who is... who is. What is peace? Mm. Peace in your life. A woman who brings peace to your life instead of... Drama. Drama or... Problems. What does that anguish like? or... Problems. What does that look like? What does what look like? <laughs> The drama that Excuse you speak me. of. Um, back talk is like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I that, is that what it is? Like somebody, I'm joking, I'm somebody joking. who it could be anything from <laughs> be anything, having anything. you know issues with her child's father to her not getting along with your mother, or or her wanting to control you, or her wanting. Y'all got to be a little more specific because that's not necessarily so limited things, to though. black women, right? No, it's not. <laughs> What's not limited to black? We just going off you of stereotypes. issues with the child's father. We going on stereotypes though. That's no, no, what we're no, doing. no, 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 no. I'm not going off stereotypes. I'm going on stereotypes. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm going because on. that's what the I'm stereotype. saying. You haven't given a, a drama for a situation listen, that's listen, like, oh yeah, that's listen black to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. It's not going to be the role of a black woman in this country is different than the role of any other woman in any other realm of the country and and of the world. You got uh, Hispanic women are way more submissive. What does Hold submissive on. mean? Yeah, uh, let me let me help you. Let me help you out, Justin. I need to understand. Why is there? Tell why, me. Why, why is submissive such a problem? <coughs> it's not. That's what, what I'm saying. Why, like, why does that have to be defined then? Out of everything I said, why is submission? Here's the thing. Such a big because deal. I don't think everybody, both men and women, understand what the true definition of submission is, and everybody using it to their advantage. Go ahead, Dozer. They want to. Well, what's that song about? Uh, with Boosie, uh, Independent Jump. I-N-D-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-
Mm-hmm. She got she her got own, own car. House. She, she got, got her own car. car. She's a bad broad. And a lot of women have, a lot of black women mm-hmm. have taken on that persona mm-hmm. of being independent. Yeah, but, but and what does independent mean? Mm-hmm. I don't need you, nigga. Yeah, that's not, what that you're independent means. Well, 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 I thought you're not independent, independent. Mean that you can take care of yourself. Literally, needing like you could literally pay your own Some rent. Women I mean, struggle with that. Though. I don't need no man. Some women I don't need no man. That's, that's what it pretty much That's mean. what I'm saying to you. And maybe it's just something that isn't natural. But I'm telling you, some women have a problem being a boss at work. Or making a certain amount of money, or be or be in a position where they have done things for themselves their whole life, mm-hmm. and still allow. But there are ways to be that way, though. What because I'm saying. What that's I'm what I'm saying, saying, though. What I'm saying is, some women struggle with the balance of both. That's all I'm saying. So when it comes to um, being a certain way in a relationship, <coughs> they become too prideful because of their independence, and it and it becomes an Ooh. issue for any. And this is all black men. women. No, it's not all black women. No, of course not. It's not. Oh, I'm just saying okay. it's more. It's, it's a lot more black women. Like they saying it's a lot more black women like that nowadays. Because there's more before. black women in the position to but be that way. A lot hold of on, black on, women on, are raised on. to be independent. Hold on, let me get my. Point and a lot of black dudes are raised to be. Finish what you're saying. Dis- we're, I, we're gonna I, get there. We're gonna get there. I'm the, there's a percentage of that, but I disagree with it. We have not that everybody don't have single moms. But what I'm saying is, black women, in terms of survival, black we have forced black women into the front of our households. Whether it whether it be because of absence of men, which happens in every which happens in every race, it's I'm been not, a storm of things that have happened. It's been a storm of have, things. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. Though, there, there's, there's, I, I know, I know, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go where you. He just went down with. a different street to yeah, get there. I don't, no, I don't want no. I don't want him to take it where he wants but to take it. I'm not. I don't want. I'm just telling. I'm just telling it how T.I. is. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but what does that have to do what we talking about? In terms of survival, black women have been forced All right. to be head of household. They've been encouraged, encouraged and forced at the same time. Correct. Correct. Because there are certain benefits tied and to, me, to men not to being in the household. And the fortitude of black women. All right. So, so you say that to say what? I say that to say... You think that's all good? Oh, you meet this woman, nah. and she can add she can add things or value, but, on value. Right, but you can't. I'm just saying it's hard for her to be submissive after she has played. And I know you want the definition of submissive, but it's hard for her to get along with a man who she feels that she don't need, or she feels like if he's not bringing certain things that he that she doesn't need. So men knowing that. The story of it. What is wrong with them stepping up and being more like, I know what you've been through. You don't have to do that with me. Let me show you nothing. What you let me show you. That, That's the that point you that can, I was making. That it's a lot of men, but nothing that what? don't do that. They don't feel like dealing do with work. that. They don't want to do the and work. They don't want it. They don't want to. Why so would they have to? Why, Why not? Would they have? So you can have black love. Why not? Because she's not worth it. They don't value that. Again, I just they don't, they don't value it. that. It's not a deal breaker for most black men. They go back that's to what, what he's I'm saying. Telling you. And that's a problem. I don't think it is. I don't think it's a problem. I think it is because it's a problem with your self worth. You're so worried about taking the easy way out. Yes, stuff has happened. Peace. Everybody has to put in work at some. There is no peace. Yeah, we got to work for stuff that you want. There's anything, going on outside. And anything going on outside that you that want no man is that is hard. It don't matter if you three feet It may be worth one. it. <laughs> Just so you can be with somebody that you can tell them what to do and it's easy. Yes, I see a lot of that happening easy. too with the and guys that he was talking about. Everything got to be hard, Eva Tiff. You got that right. is that is who we are as a people. We used to that. We're used to say, "Oh, but you got to understand." But it's not as a people. You do what I'm saying. One at a time. One at a time. Okay, go ahead. You got black women and you got black men. Black women and black men used to be like this. Now they like this. It is something in between. Black men and black women what is that? in general. And what she's saying is we got to work together to, to knowing get this, this out of the way. Knowing this. Out of the way. So That's the fact that you saying. don't want to put forth that effort, there's something wrong with what that. You? If you know this is the case Wait. and you like... So yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't work. really care. I don't work that and that's a, she's that. saying that's a, problem. that's a problem. I don't think I don't think people necessarily are making that problem. conscious decisions to not want to have to exactly. work. Exactly. I think people are... I think I think 
people are subconscious. Just going with what's, what's easy. And they're they going, the path they're going of on with, And they're going on. They're not with even the flow. thinking about this. No. They're not they're thinking about this the, at all. They're going on with the flow. That's Hit it. to his oh, point. That's most black <coughs> men could care less yes. about this. Especially and to her point, that is a problem. That is a problem. I got you. I, I, I understand. And there are other factors that come into play. Don't get me wrong. This is not just exclusively this. You know, you got music. You got social so media. Shit, you, I mean, there's so a lot of influence. There's all a lot of different place. influence that negative gets, influence. That negative influence that gets in the way of. But at the black end of the love. day, but what it's I'm, about what you want to do at the end of the day. But where you, you want to be? But you got so many mentalities. Out. Every human being has their own mentality, and that mentality has been shaped and shifted by so many different <laughs> factors, yo. So it's no telling how the individual's thinking. Yeah. Pretty fucking much, yo. I, I, so you got you you, just, you might have the mentality to say, all right, let me work with this situation and get this out of the way. But this person right here is out here trying to scheme and and, and take everything that you got, and you don't even know it. And guess what? And guess what? For every black man that doesn't <coughs> with a black woman, that gives another black man an opportunity for a black woman that he wants. You know what I mean? There's so many different ways to look at it. My point is, hey, no. That's a given, though. Yeah, but it ain't no point of being. Not, mad is not the wrong word, but just up in arms. I'll on tell you one thing. Again. Hold on. What were you going to say? Segregation has definitely. Hold on, man. You had your turn. Let the I'm lady sorry. talk. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just listening. Go ahead. Yeah, I, just, oh, I thought you was going to make a good point here. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. Preference. It's, it's preference. It's preference. That's all I'm saying. And I will say some men, I think most men prefer to be with a woman that is their same color. My, look, forget that. Black men. I think most black men. Most. No, most men in general. If it don't most. involve work. If it don't involve a certain level of work, correct. Because. But if it involves some work, they could give a. But about hey, being with a no, black but woman. It's the same That's thing. That's basically what you're saying. I'm it's asking. Like, yes, but it's the same thing. <laughs> That's all I need to know. They have bad relationships and then they start dating other women. I mean, this. But is that is that limited to race or no? Because we're talking about black men <coughs> and black women. What I'm saying is they're all different scapegoats for everybody. Everyone does it in their form. What I'm saying is being up in arms about it with black black men only mm -hmm. is futile. And uh, to me, and I don't, I don't, like I said. You said so. You saying having issues. having having an issue with black men doing it, holding my men accountable is the problem. Men should be held accountable, period. Because yeah, but you also that. have to have an understanding that. that it's not, not that, all no. on it's black men. There's a lot men. of jankiness going on right now. Yeah, not for that. Because there's so many issues. other things they they could do, and regardless of what you're attracted to based on how you were raised or where you were raised or just or, period or just whatever your preference is mm -hmm. like I, I don't think that that's fair because someone can legitimately be in love with so like legitimately hold on you gotta get in love though that has to grow and blossom i, I sure. guess what i see more more often than not is the people that it's when their their love for the others is not a genuine oh she's submissive it's because they're white and they got to be right or whatever it's not well you it, got some people who, who, who it's a lot of self hate involved you got some people who have that that's what I is that see. I've seen a lot yeah. of definitely that, that. Oh, people are oh, every people all over the world are together for the wrong reasons and for different reasons yeah. So again, uh, you can't you can't general, generalize every black and white relationship. You can't no, generalize we, nothing. We yeah. just did. Y'all just generalized the no, black no, and that's my point. Y'all can't generalize so, that either. No, you can't generalize nothing. So let me say that. So that's okay, so that's, 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 that's a generalization. This, this was though. the This was the what, perception. What I of? said was a hypothetical situation in in a in a certain demographic. I'm not saying that is the reason and the conclusion for all mixed race. Uh, Relationships. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm. I was just creating uh, one scenario. A scenario. That's fine. That, that we can all see happening several places. That's all. That's it. I wasn't, okay. And so one scenario not in a vacuum. that I see not in a vacuum. No, but it, happening it, is a lot. It's self. No, nah, there is some self hate that happens. That's definitely and there. there is some actual, you seem like you have an issue with that. And there's yeah, some real love too Why? that happens as well. Because you know because it, it where people are actually genuinely love one another. And they make it actually kind of proves the point a little bit. Like when you see, when I see black women, and I'm not speaking about you, Tiffany, per se, even though you do fall in this category. <laughs> but this is not jab, is what I'm saying. When I see black women getting upset about shit that 
to me should be beneath them, or they that and uh, you understand what I'm saying, or th- or things that um, like you like why you even worried about so important. Yeah, energy I, is so valuable. You understand what I'm saying, and and that is a part of it. A lot of times, black women puts energy into things that aren't necessarily productive to the relationship. It may be productive to their happiness in the moment or their happiness based on what they feel happiness is. Man, you black women you overall think about what? what's good for everybody. I don't think and women... And the problem is that good more black, black men... Good black women. Sure. The problem is that more black men don't. Don't what? Don't think about what's good for all of us. No. So, There's not enough yes. good black men because good black yes. men do. Yeah, yes. Duh. Good black men do. Yes, it's and not good, enough. That's a good point. Right. That's that's, good that's point. the whole point. At the end that's of the day, point. that's a good. You know point. what I'm saying? That's a good point. Like you can't like. So I used to get frustrated the same way you getting frustrated. Like why do y'all <coughs> even worry about that? But that's good that they worry about that because they worrying about us. But. No. Here's the problem. No, because her they worried. don't be worried about us. It's not enough of them. What you mean? That's the problem. What, what they don't be worried about? Tiffany, Why you say Tiffany, that? Tiffany, Why you're, you say you're that? married. You're See, married. You're happily married. But it ain't married. enough of us either. But here's you're the problem. Married, you're happily married. You ain't. It's, she don't fit the category no, of, of, of dudes. You have, you're in a of, black family. Of, of, of guys that. She don't fit the category of women that black guys is, is not checking for. You understand? Right. Why? I was just you'll be, I you'll was get checked for. I come from a broke, some single family, broken was, home. Yeah, but no, you're, but you're, you're not retarded. Gonna you're gonna get checked for retarded. wherever you go, yeah. just because of who you are. Yeah. I need to. Nah, okay. I we don't know what this girl going on, and they, what they saying is there's some there's certain stereotypical and typical traits that certain black women that you don't fall in the category of have, and she might have it, which may be why. In addition to and proximity, nobody was checking for her. And same thing over. And it's a like, lot of women out here. Same thing over okay. him though. Like this is so off the subject. But <laughs> I had a, a epiphany like last week, and I was like, "Man, all these podcasts going on right now, where mm-hmm. black men are able to, or even just." Racial ambiguous men are able to sit around and talk shit about black women because no. you can't talk about gay people no more. Uh, and look at us yeah. right now. Black women. I'm not talking shit about black women. I'm not talking shit about black women. No, that's ironic though. I'm just yeah. saying yeah, it was yeah, kind yeah, of a yeah, thing yeah, yeah. I had. I, I, I I like, We're not like that. I mean, y'all not, I'm not saying y'all is bad as them or, you know, saying that, but it was, we literally just sat here and had this conversation. Yeah, yeah we did. Because you can. Try, but y'all trying to hold black men to a higher standard. What's wrong with that? And that's no, what I'm trying to do be. too. Oh, okay. but, 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 but here's the thing, Justin and Jonathan and myself, in terms of our mentality, we not Riff raff dudes, either. You understand what I'm saying? Riff raff. We not the <laughs> tell him, Grandpa. We, we not, not the riff raff. We not low life. We not no low life type point. of dude. What is your point? So <laughs> the we are not the problem. That's what I'm saying. We are not the problem. The people in this household right now, nobody here is the problem. Is the problem? I don't think people, men who date any outside with, with, of race, is if the the, if if one of you all were the problem, would you say it? Would you yeah. would you honestly say it? And let me no, say this. Let me okay. let me say this. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know. I, I, I would know. Be, no. Do these man, man, man some man. people just be out this joint, just living, living their life like it's Grand Theft Auto, and just just be doing shit, bro. I'm gonna no I'm gonna awareness, go. no direction. No, just just be living. Crash I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. As as I've gotten older, <coughs> I have gotten more and more of an appreciation for black women to the point where. It's almost like I can't see myself without a woman that's not black. I can't see myself with a woman who's not black. You understand what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. That does not eliminate it. It just makes it that harder for me to end up with. I wasn't going to say nothing negative about what you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, though. But it's not, it's not like I am not above dating outside of my race. Right. right. Is what I'm saying. Right. And I like I wouldn't care what anybody thought about it. Yeah. Just the same way if I dated a midget, I wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? A little person. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Tell you're insensitive to them. Whatever, dog. Yeah, like, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very insensitive to them. The women with alopecia, I'm okay with it. Like oh, what? Oh, here we go. Oh, we're not doing this. Who has alopecia? What I know somebody with alopecia. What I'm, what I'm, all I'm Jada. saying is Jada. 
Oh yeah, that, oh. I wouldn't. No, not I wasn't even. Oh, Jada, no, I wasn't. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about Jada, but just to, you know, but just to cover all, I'm I, I'm just trying to say, like certain things like that. I don't. I wouldn't. I'm not above it. So I'm not gonna talk bad about those men. Although I probably would not be one of those men. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. So what? That's. that's <sighs> I'm not necessarily looking down on those men. But I do feel like, as a brother in this world, the older and more self-aware and just aware of what's going on in the world you get, yeah. you do tend to have right. more of an appreciation. As you get older. Yeah, as you get older. But mm-hmm. I think that's because when we're younger, we get programmed we're to, we're to like everything but black women. Low key from media, mainstream media. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we lucky because we grew up. Where we grew yeah. up. Yes, yeah. you guys. But man, lucky. if we were somewhere else, Lord, we'd probably be like, forget what you're talking about right now, because right. yeah. it don't matter at all. Yeah, and they're not glorified in a way. Black women are not glorified in at a all. way. In the way. And I just want to That's say a good point. that you guys say the submissive thing. In black women. I feel like black women are way more submissive and put up with a lot more things than a white woman oh, would ever. Oh, putting up with stuff because is not... of the things they would do just to be with a man. They put up with a lot of more stupid shit than a white woman could. You think a Karen would put up with a nigga with no job and le- sleeping on her couch and stuff like they. It's they a do. Different, so you, you're they talking about the, when the pipes be uh, still. My the point is, being, okay, uh, but the, the they whole get, thing of us not being able to be submissive but they put up or something beat, like that. I don't on. think that's they get that's, put up with being beat, be, being beat on, which most black women don't put up with. Shit. What? Most white women. shit. White, white women definitely put up with that. Women, do that. women, women do in it general, in general yeah. just do that, yeah. bro. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> I can say women in general do that too. You know what I'm saying? Fine, whatever. There's plenty of men out here with white no. men out here with no jobs that got. All I'm saying is I've never seen any class evidence class. that leans towards black women getting beat on less than white women and taking it. I've yet to see any information I'm saying, about I, that. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, my mind, and my, and let me tell you what my vision is of a black woman. All right. A vision of a black woman. Oh, they, they ain't going for they it. They ain't going for it. They're going to fight back. But that's um, what I'm saying. We know that's all, a lot of times, that's just a, a uh, what they call it, a barrier that right. most most black women put up. Right, right. All them ones that be doing all this, no, sit no, right no, man, and take it. what? Bark. Bark. That's all what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's why I be like, man, what's up with these guys that just be like, I ain't got time. I be like, there's something up with them. Yes. Because oh, they, 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 they ain't they ain't dead niggas. Or maybe they was only after <laughs> us for one or two things now. And it's just like. Cause, cause that, cause that or maybe they just met somebody outside of their race and they genuinely <laughs> just happened to hit it off. That happens. And that happens too. But that don't be happening that often, I don't think. I don't think that happens. I, I think feel it like coming it's more from of a search to find. Or a proximity thing. Or or proximity. I think think we keep our proximity a lot. I think it's three things. I'm in this world, and so I'm expected to have this type of on my arm. I think it's three things. I think it's uh, it just happens to happen. One, I think uh, self hate. Just happen to happen. I think self hate. Self hate, or they just be like, you know what? I I can't deal with no sisters or black women. That, and then I think. Some of them, some of them, so some of them join. So, like, your family is trash in your eyes. You, right. My sister, all the women in my family are mm-hmm. trash in my mm-hmm. eyes. I don't want nothing like I that. I don't want nothing like that. That's self hate. That's, that's, that's self hate. Yeah. Because ultimately, is those that, are your. Is it only self hate when, when it happens to black people? No. Oh, okay. But oh, no. typically, that happens more to black people because Where's we the... are the number one targets. <coughs> And, and then, that's what I'm saying about understanding what's going on. The more you understand what's going on, the more you appreciate each other. And then the third thing is like with get out. And I ain't talking about with <laughs> trapping your mind and all that type of stuff. I'm talking about like they be yeah, actually be seeking business. these dudes, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They be like really like, oh, yeah, yeah. they be like plotting on these dudes on the yeah. low. You know yeah, yeah, because having a black baby purpose. is an accessory. Well, not yeah. just that. It's, no. Man, it's you might that. want the if genetics. It, yes. But you like, man, I want to. I want my son to be an athlete. <coughs> He could he more than likely gonna be a better athlete if I procreate with a somebody with more melanin. <laughs> black, less, black, less, black, tissue. Tissue. black men are more sought it's after. Yeah. Black men are more sought after on a surface level than white men. White men have money and and um, 
stature or whatever the case may be in this country, which which is the thing that makes them the most appealing. But outside of that, just in terms of pure alpha maleness, right. black men are more attractive. If, yeah. Well, I'm not no homo. Yeah, but, but just also the money too. Like at, at Alabama University or something along them lines. What are we talking about? All them football players that's there. What? Man, them daggone white girls be lined up. Thank you. But it's only it's only white girls there. That's what I'm saying. In Alabama. Well, at, 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 at school. At that There's school. There's not a lot of black girls there. Well, a lot of them get placed there on purpose too. Man, they be actually. No, oh, if you look at it right now, right? In most sports, the more melanated people be dominating. Now you think as a as a a white man. You think I'm gonna be? Like, I'm gonna see this and be like, I'm gonna just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Go on, and get some of that money. Go over there and bring some of that money back over here, cause my boy ain't gonna be able to do what Keyshawn can do. Right. So I'm gonna send my daughter over there to get with Keyshawn, white so man, we can white, get some of that men, money back over men here. Don't typically look at that's sports. What, from, uh, that's not all white men, of course. I'm, about to say, I'm white saying men typically don't look at but sports they do that. from a profitable. Uh, like mindset or eyes, so like in terms mindset. of the athlete, like they look at it from a higher up. View. It depends, man. It depends. Like, if if before, if you were around in a time where you could get <clears throat> you could get money off of it, and now things have changed because of integration and where we are now, it's like shoot, really, man. I gotta assimilate and and get. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'll let my kids do it. Mm-hmm. No big mm-hmm. deal. My son, he going to be straight because he's just going to get a white woman. But I'll send my daughter over there because you got to think, man, they don't be valuing their women like like that. No, they don't. White men. Yeah. <clears throat> In terms of like, like they they use, they use know how to weaponize their weaponize white women. Them. I'll say that. Not value. They, they, use, they, use, they know how to like. They use their white women for their benefit. Yes. We don't. We ah, Sometimes we, we do. do. We do. We be taking advantage. For They're the wrong reasons, though. Catch. Yeah. For the wrong reasons, and we shouldn't do that. All right, so, well, anyway. Well, I think They I think, are willing to sacrifice their women way more often than we are. We'll just do dumb stuff to our women and don't get nothing from it. That's sacrifice. Because, essentially, we don't care what happens to that woman. Yeah, but they What damage like, that does to that woman and what that promotes them to They do. sacrifice strategically. They're trying to, to, but it's they trying to same, win. It's still the same. Thing. We're not trying to win nothing. We're trying to win. We're just dumb. Selfishly. We're not selfish. <laughs> we're just ignorant. We're just ignorant. I mean, yeah, but dumb, that's what I'm saying. Ignorant. They calculate it. It's like a, a mass, a real mass murderer and somebody that just shot his gun off and didn't it, know it how to even, shoot. It don't even got to be the father. It could be the mother. It could be the mother. It could be, or it could be the girl that herself. It could be the girl herself. It could with, be that, the girl. with that being said, there are whites and blacks who play both sides of each fence that we all. No see. doubt about it. So, but so with were. that being said, mm-hmm. I think Tiffany's point was she sees it where she's trying to protect black men. Like, no, y'all need to do better. And, where I'm coming from is the same thing for my black women. Like y'all can do better. We all need to do better. That's it. Like, like is that's it okay I'm, to say that if a black guy don't want to be with black women, that's fine? Yes. And, that's and that's on an individual and level, that is him. Yeah. On an individual, on an individual level, level. On an individual level, fine. Yeah. But overall, you are saying that black men if it was a should want to be with black women? Yeah, like uh, and you know what's the funny? group. Mm-hmm. It should be a group of black men and a group of black women. And you know, and you know the other thing that uh, women only complain about it when it's the celebrities. They don't be right. complaining about it when it's Joe Schmo in the grocery store that they That's see. That's not lies. That's lies. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. You not what he talking okay. about? <laughs> but, but on a grand on a grand scheme, you understand what I'm saying? No, yeah, that that is that that is I false. Know, I, I but what I'm saying is, it don't really become a verbalized complaint, or it's not like a big deal until it's those guys they see in Hollywood or somewhere else. No. And those are one offs. 